Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about setting up a private home network uh, using, you know, your Ethernet and your Wi-Fi from your router. It's usually provided by your ISP, Internet Service Provider. Now, this is going to be very basic. I'm not getting into the deep levels of it, but there are some things I want to tell you how to get around and how to set it up as simply as possible. Now, I've got a brand new computer here. It's a Windows 11 Pro, and my and it's hooked in to my router, wired in with Ethernet. With Ethernet. And my Windows 10 PC is hooked in or connected uh, to my router from my Wi-Fi. Now, the, the settings for this, for both of them, are pretty much the same. I have, I log into Windows 11 and 10 with my Microsoft account. And so, it's the same name and all that. Now, we want to go down to uh, uh, Network and Internet Settings. You can do that at the bottom here. Right click, network and internet setting. Now this is on Windows 11, and um, it's connected to the Ethernet. Uh, pretty much the same thing, setting it up with slightly different uh, uh, screens on Windows 10. But um, you want to go to Ether because this one's on Ethernet, and on my Windows 10, I would go to Wi Fi. But here, Ethernet, I want to click on Private Network, and that's all you have to do there. Then go back, and go down to Advanced Network Settings. And uh, Advanced um, Sharing Settings. And you would have click on network discovery on I have set up network connected devices automatically file and print sharing is on now I want to go down to all networks below that and I've turned on uh, public folder sharing encryption you should pretty much leave that alone and password protected sharing I've left this on only people who have a user account and password on this PC here can access, access shared files, printers, and public folders. Why did I not turn that off? If I, I can turn that off, that means anybody connected to my router can access the files. And I don't want that. Uh, I don't want, if I give somebody some access to my network, I don't want them, uh, a friend on a phone or something, whatever, to be able to access this PC. And that's basically how you set up the network. Now you want to go to accounts and go down to, um, Sign in options. Now you can do whatever you're going to do. This facial recognition and all that. I have all that turned off. I have Windows Hello turned off. I come here to password. And click this. And it lets me sign in with my account's password. This is my Microsoft account password. I am not using a local account on either computer. I'm using a Microsoft account. The thing here is I need to log in with the password because the PIN will not allow the network to connect to each other. Or the computers that if you log in with a PIN, it will not connect. So that's all you have to do with that. Next, if I go down to my uh, file explorer, 
you'll see my computer, my other computer here. Now, when I try to click on it, if I tried to log in with the pen, I would probably see this message, which is Enter Network Credentials. That is because if you log in with your username and pen, the Microsoft username, account username and pen, it will never uh, connect. It will never, uh, or not connect, but it will never say. It will keep saying the username or password is incorrect. I was went through a lot of trouble with this, trying to figure this one out, because people were, were, were suggesting many sites that you log in. You have to put in the computer name as a username, slash your uh login name on that computer and all this other convoluted stuff and edit the credentials and uh, registry and all that and it was as simple as logging in with the Microsoft password and not the pen and that's really all you had to do with it now when you log in to um, uh, your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC from the login screen, you would collect, uh, click, unless you've already set it, when it's asking for a password, if it's asking for a PIN, it's already got your name in there, your Microsoft name, account name, and your, probably your picture. If it asks for the PIN, click on Sign In Options. And that will give you a little pop-up screen with a little keyboard, which you click that little keyboard, and that will let you log in with your password. And that is all it is to get to that point. So I'm back here, and I'm going... Now, we've, you've seen how I've done this. I've logged in uh, both my computers. I've logged into my Microsoft account with the password, not the PIN. And there I go. I can access all the files. I can do whatever I need to do. Access any anything, really. It's just quite... Uh, it was that simple. And I spent hours and hours trying to, to get this network to work. Only to find out it was because I logged in with the pen and not the password and so that's just part of the deal <laughs> you live and learn that's all I have to do all my files all my stuff is accessible and I can a access them from both computers that's all it took I hope this helps some of you if it, you know, if it doesn't work for you, I just have no clue because I spent hours trying to figure this out, and this is what worked for me best. Hope this helps. See you again soon.